It's a video on point slope form of a linear equation. So looking at this, here's the equation. Y, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Here's a coordinate point. Okay. And what we're trying to do here is create an equation. So you simply plug the information in. So I'm going to label everything out. I'm going to call this x1, y1. So when I start to write, I'm going to say y minus y1. In this case, that's negative 6. So i got to do minus a negative equals the slope times x minus the x value, which is 2. Okay. And I can go ahead and add the opposite here. And I get y equal, sorry. y plus 6 equals 3 times x minus 2. And that's point slip of a linear equation. Okay. Right. So another example doing the same thing. I'm going to find the, the point slope form. So here I just rewrote it up here at the top for you. But in this case, they don't give me a slope. So I've got to use my slope formula first, then point slope. So I'm going to go ahead and label this x1, y1, x2, y2. And what I'm looking at is I like to set it up using parentheses. So it's y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Be real careful with adding the opposites here. So that's negative 8. And that's positive 2. And that equals negative 4. So now I have a slope of negative 4. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug everything into my equation up here. And I've got to pick a point, And it will work with either one. So I'm just going to pick this one because they're smaller and because there's one positive. But it's the same difference. So I'm going to say y minus y1, which is 5, equals the slope, which I just figured out was negative 4, times x minus x1. In this case, it is negative 3. So I'll add the opposite and clean that up a little bit. And I'll say y minus 5 equals negative 4 times x plus 3. 